welcome to section four and in this video we're going to talk about resolving network connections with system ctl before we move on i just need you to understand what system ctl is um, system ctl is a system d utility which is responsible for controlling the system d system and services as you can see the image right here we have a command to output the network manager which is system ctl status and network manager dash l this will output the manager and we can see that this is loaded we have the pid this is the pid that we use the kill command for to kill whatever services there is running and also we can see the active array that shows that our network manager is actually running so if we go straight to our terminal we need to understand that the main command used to introspect and control system d is system ctl it's used to examine the system state and managing the system and services system ctl is a system md utility which is responsible for controlling system d services and manage to check if services are actually running we can just do sudo system ctl followed by the status and the name of a package then we can just say post fix then enter we type in a password and enter and this will display the status of a particular service running in our system to see if that service is actually running as we can see the service is actually enabled and we can see it is actively running and since when is the 2018 0620 Time is 18, 27, and 38. All right. Moving on. To check the system CTL version, we can just do system CTL dash dash version, then enter. This will display the version of a system D. We can see system D 219, so on and so forth. We can see the list of infos of the system CTO over here all right to disable a network manager we can just do sudo system ctl followed by disable network manager then enter this will actually disable our network manager and if we can look over here and click this and if we try to connect Remember, we've actually disabled it. So, when we disable it, we need to re enable it so that it can come back up. So, to do that, we can just do sudo or we can just do the upper key on our system, change this disable to enabled and enter. Then, we've re enabled our network manager. So, to start that, we can just do systemctl status. And enter we can see it is actively running so to start it and enter this will start the system ctl so let's check the status again all right let's come over here and we can see it is running so we can come up here and click this then we can connect so when we do that we can actually connect to the internet and that is actually our network issue is actually solved. All right, looked at enabling network manager and there's some units in our system CTO or services we can list. We can just do system CTL followed by list dash units, then enter. We can see the list of services units over here. If you want to view a particular service, you can just do system CTL. You can keep on scrolling down by just using your space bar or your enter key. Just close it with Ctrl C. So to view a particular service, we can just pass this to a grep. Just see grep, and we can just see service, then enter. This will list the number of services that is running in our system. And moving on, we can also do this by checking a particular service and we just say post fix service and enter then we can see that our post fix is actually 
running we can see postfix mail transport agent over here so we can actually restart our network manager so to do that let's see sudo service okay let's remove ctl sudo service network manager then enter this will actually restart it we can see it over here this will restart our network manager and we can see that we connected back to the internet